a tour of yeah two or three years. What, what does that do in a, a person, for example, you? What, um, what it was exhausting, and it, but but really amazing. Like I think you meeting so many people and making new friends and revisiting places that you fall in love with and stuff. It's it's really it's great fun, but it's just uh, I didn't have a, a home for three years and I didn't have a, a bedroom where I could leave my stuff and that that felt kind of kind of strange and that's why I went back to New Zealand and and lived there for the first time in ages because I was sort of craving that just having a place of my own. You know. What was the first thing that you did when you had that place called home again? Um, set up a little studio. <laughs> it's so it's so embarrassing. No, I probably cooked a dinner. I love cooking. It's not, not, it's a nice novelty to come home and get to use a kitchen and, you know, make my legendary chili bacon pasta. Yeah. You, don't, you don't get to do that on tour? No, not that much. When yeah. as soon as I stay at someone's house, I'm like, I'm cooking dinner tonight. And then I go, but yeah, I like cooking. It's relaxing. And, and they appreciate your cooking skills? Or, uh... I've got, I've got one dish. One dish that just blows yeah. people's minds. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a drug. You just can't stop eating it till it's all gone. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think you have to give me the recipe. After yeah. The <laughs> um, your father uh, is also into music, uh, crowded house. Um, for you, does it feel as a blessing or as maybe sometimes as a curse as well? Um, I, I guess I've never I've never looked at it in a negative light because I'm, I'm I love him and I you know I'm really proud. Oh, to be to come from his seed as such, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean it's, it's you know it's got it's got two two sides to it. But in some ways, I, I kind of believe that it evens itself out in some way. And at the end of the day, you got to be good, you know, be a good musician, write write good songs, and it's not gonna no you know no amount of nepotism is gonna write a good song or, or sustain a career. And you know, so I figure at the end of the day, I'm gonna I still have to fight for this myself. But but that's good. I think everyone's got. You know, everyone's got their story, and that's, that just happens to be mine, and that's what people are interested in, and it's fair enough, you know. Was it always clear for you that you would go into music? Um, I guess so, yeah. I, I kind of, um, I've always played music and always really loved it, but I, for a long time there, thought that I was actually going to be a good enough basketball player to be in the NBA. That was my dream mm -hmm. as a kid, till I was about 13, 14, and I sort of stopped growing and started getting into girls and playing guitar, and then I just... Also, yeah, I'm not a tall man. I would have never made the NBA, but I actually bet my best friend when I was about nine that I'd make the NBA. 50 bucks. Yeah, I still I have to pay him. You still, yeah, you yeah. Still have to pay him. He, yeah. he actually, the last time I saw him, he hit me up about it. And I was like, I don't have 50 bucks. Because when did you start interested in, 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 for example, playing the guitar? Was that because you had uh, your father as an example or maybe to, to impress girls? Like it was more because it was around and, and that's what I you know, grew up with watching my dad and my uncle do and it seemed like fun, you know, it seemed like an awesome job to go out on stage and make people smile and have a real good time go, go mental, you know, and it's, it's, that's really awesome. And, but you know, I saw that it was hard as well and that dad would be pretty tired and stressed or, you know, but never, not to me, but yeah, I guess it was just natural to pick up the guitar and start playing. And drums was the first instrument that I kind of gravitated towards, possibly just because you get to whack things and that's fun for, for a kid. But yeah, I guess it was when I was about um, 12 or 13 that I started, you know, trying to write songs like Nirvana and, you know, trying to express myself or something, you know. And, and from there, that's when I met my friends that became my first band. And we, mm. yeah, kind of started pretty early, really.